Welcome back, everyone, to the Cat's Meowth and the third and final box opening of Fever Burst Fighter. So this has been a, uh, I don't know, we've, it's been a great set so far. We have everything complete in it except for a Pyroar break and almost all of the full arts. But uh, full arts are very hard to come by. You're not guaranteed even one per box. Uh, spoiler, we have pulled one of them, uh, but that still leaves four more. I am hoping, though, that we'll be able to pull a second one out of this box, and uh, that'll be, you know, one less that I have to track down later on. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in addition to the Pyroar, I'm just uh, hoping to pull non-duplicate hollow rares. We pulled, I think, two Shiftry in the first box and two Xerneas in the second. Um, so having a uh, one spare complete uh, set of hollows would be nice. All right, and we're going to start off this opening with a Clink, Litleo, Croagunk, Clawitzer, and a Mega Steelix. So nice way to start off the box with an Ultra Rare right off the bat. I have also enjoyed that we have been pulling four Ultra Rares consistently from each box. So um, that's always exciting. Four chances at a full art. Fletchling, uh, yeah. Yeah, Fletchling and then Fletchinger. Uh, Joltik, Litwick, Ninja Boy. And there we go, another hollow Pyroar. So, so far, uh, so actually I think that's, we should have a, do, is that, would that make a complete spare set now? I think it does. So I will have one spare set of hollows unless we uh, pull some more duplicates to finish off uh, for a second one. Uh, Klefki, Apom, Dot, Galvantula, and a Driftblim. Yeah, I think uh, if we pull a Chandelure, I'll have two com- no, I guess only one complete set. I would have to pull a Chandelure- I'd have to pull two Chandelures and two Pyroars, maybe? I don't know what I'd really need for a uh, complete hollow set off the top of my head. Uh, the fossil that goes with Bastiodon, Lampet, uh, Apom, Pokemon Ranger, Man, <laughs> we are just racking up these uh, ultra rares. Um, Xerneas break, and un unfortunately though, we already pulled a spare Xerneas break, so I was kind of hoping maybe we would pull the other break. Um, I believe it was, was it Evil Toll uh, in the set? I'm kind of mixing up um, uh, Cruel Trader with um, yeah, Fever Burst Fighter. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, Evil Tall was in the next one. Um, I guess it's just the Pyro break that we're looking for. Uh, I keep wanting to call it Craniodon, uh, Sheldon, Rapidash, uh, Nosepass, Samurott, and Toxicroak. Drift Blim. Oh, sorry, we're a little out of focus there. Fletchinger. Clink. Cabalion. All right, Chandelure Hollow. Ah, didn't mean to drop it there. Um, so I that might make two spare sets, I think. We should at least have one one spare set. A Drudagon, Ponyta, C Dot, Gastrodon, and the I, I can't ever remember this one. Um, it's like Charge Energy something. <laughs> I don't think Energy is actually in it. It just has to deal with Energy, and so that's why I keep thinking Energy. Yeah, I think the pulling of Chandelure and Pyroar is what actually gave us the one complete spare set. Um, I think we need to pull another Chandelure and Pyroar to have a second one. Uh, Duat, Fletchling, 
Croagonk, Steel Spirit Link, and a Kling Clang. Clang, Oshawa, Litleo, Greedy Die, and Talonflame. The more I'm looking at that Xerneas, the more I'm thinking that there's a chance that we might not pull that Pyroar. Joltik, Apom, Shellos, Propopass, and a Shiftry. Um, probably my favorite of the of all the hollows just because of the Delta Species effect. Really love how that one turned out. Klefki, uh, Litwick, Clauncher, Clawitzer, that's the other break in here, Bastiodon, and a Steelix. So uh, it is nice to have another pair of uh, Steelix and Mega Steelix. Uh, both of those are duplicates, but that means that assuming that we get a fourth Ultra Rare, I will either get I mean, my best chance is getting the Pyroar, or, but if I get the Pyroar, then I won't get a Full Art, and if I get the Full Art, then I'll, I will have to trade for a Pyroar. Oh, very difficult. C Dot, A Pum, I'm sorry, and the Pum, Lampet, Driftblim, and Clawitzer. I think at this point I should probably just root for the Pyroar break and just hope that I don't uh, scrub out on both of them and uh, be kind of left with a, a cool but a little disappointing box. Nosepass, Boongus, uh, another Fossil, Ninja Boy, and Gastrodon. Pull this one out. <laughs> Ponyta, Croagunk, Drudagon, Samurott, and Amoongus. Now we've only pulled, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should still have three hollows and or ultra rares to come. C dot. Klefki, Duwop, Pokemon Ranger. All right, there's one of them, number eight, Volcanion Hollow. The adorable little Clink, Drifblim. Or is it Drifloon? Sorry, that's a Drifloon. Oshawott. Talonflame. Oh, I scrubbed out on both. I mean, it's a really cool card, don't get me wrong. Um, claw It's or Break came out really nice with this huge big claw um, coming right at you. But that means we're missing a Pyroar Break. Oh, that's so disappointing. Um, I mean, unless we hit five ultras, but I'm pretty sure that's number nine. We should get one more hollow, um, but oh, only one full art in three boxes. Joltik, uh, the Fossil, Litwick, Toxicroak, and Galvantula. And there aren't that many um, of the dual types. I thought there would be more in the newer set. Um, we have Galvantula and Shiftry, I believe, in this one, and a couple, of course, in the other one, uh, but just a couple per set. Um, maybe they're just kind of slowly introducing the, the mechanic. Fletchinger, Clauncher, Nosepass, Steelix Spirit Link, and Cabalion. Two packs left, one more hollow to pull.
Clank, Drudagon, Apon, Bastiodon, and a Pyroar. So, um, I think I still would have had to pull a second Chandelure to make two complete sets, but that's uh, one complete set and one almost complete set, though. Um, so I am kind of excited that pulling we pulled a duplicate Hollow that was um, something that we missed as as far as you know we didn't pull a Pyroar in the first box. So I mean that's less duplicates to go around. So uh, that's a bright side. And very last pack. Ponytail? I'm sorry, that's not a Ponytail, that's a Rapidash. Fungus, Fletchling, Greedy Die, and Drift Blim. So, um, nothing to add to the set binder, unfortunately. Some cool stuff to add to the trade binder, though. And who knows, maybe uh, someone out there has a spare Pyroar break um, to trade in. I mean, if you have any full arts, that'd be really cool, too. But uh, not very hopeful on that one. So... Um, yeah, oddly enough, we hit duplicate hollows in all three of the Fever Burst, uh, uh, fighter boxes. So, odd. I'm definitely not used to seeing that. Two EXs, Steelix and Mega Steelix, and two breaks, Xerneas and Clawitzer. I'm still very excited, though, that we did get four Ultra Rares across all three boxes, and, uh... Yeah, why don't we go ahead and we will show, <clears throat> excuse me, we will show off what we have complete of the set so far and then show off all of the hollows and uh, EX duplicates in case anyone is interested in trading. So here is a general recap of three boxes. We have an almost complete set. The only card we're missing is that Pyroar break that's going to go right there. Like I said, hopefully we'll have find someone to trade it to me without too much trouble. beautiful Steelix and Mega Steelix, Xerneas and Xerneas Break, and the one full art we were able to pull, the Volcanion. So uh, now that you've seen what I've completed of the set, we'll go ahead and show off the extras. We do have one complete set of hollows to spare. Uh, we have a second incomplete set. I believe there's two per sleeve with the exception of the Chandelure. And then we have a few ultra rares. Um, two Mega Steelix, two Xerneas Break, one Clawitzer Break, and one uh, regular Steelix EX. I haven't figured out prices as far as um, anything to compare it to for future trades. Uh, certainly if you're interested in anything, feel free to make offers. All of my wants are on thecatsmeowth.com. And of course I have plenty of common and uncommon, so we should have at least enough for four to five complete sets of just the commons and uncommons if anyone is interested in those. So I hope you've enjoyed this series of three box openings. Wish we could have pulled a few more full arts, but that's okay. And hopefully we'll have some good luck with the set of Cruel Trader tomorrow.